Welcome to Supreme Skills. Today is Judgment Day in the contest for the ultimate top. It's a quest for a top that keeps on spinning with no sway. The possible applications are endless. Satellites observe Earth from space. Inside, they carry flywheels run by gyroscopes, basically tops. Their rotation rates control the satellite's attitude or where it points, improve the flywheel's performance, and much more precise observations can be made. Our first group helped build Japan's ALOS-2 satellite, Team Space Spin. They're going for the most spins with a space-age top that uses satellite design technology. In precision manufacturing, there's another very different top-like component. It's this machine tool. A perfect cone at the tip of a perfect cylinder. It's one key to Japan's high-performance engineering. It's made by our second team, the Master Craftsmen. That's certified technical prowess. With an average age of 72 and supreme skills with hand-operated machinery, they'll try to fabricate the ultimate top. The showdown between aerospace engineers and master craftsmen is about to begin. Supreme skills! Our venue is this. The Double Turret Arena. Two tower top platforms await the contestants. Each has a diameter the size of a one yen coin. That's just two centimeters. Whichever top stays spinning the longest will win. These commercial tops, they fall off in two seconds. Lasting any longer would take a miracle. Two teams have risen to the challenge. The master craftsmen, skilled artisans all, have fabricated their ultimate top. But their adversaries, the young space engineers, have produced through trial and error a totally unconventional top. We'll look back at the difficult, dramatic process that has produced these two entries. But first, the showdown begins. We'll show this contest without interruption, either full screen or as insets, so keep your eyes peeled. Three. Two, one. The robot arm has grabbed the tops. The teams are crouching down, watching like hawks. The tension mounts. The tops are placed first on mechanical spinners. The twirl they're getting is about the same as what a human hand would give them. 1,500 revolutions per minute. Here they come. Now for the drop onto the platforms. Done. Incredible. You feel like just speaking could impact them. So true. You even want to hold your breath. But look at those shafts. Neither one is swaying at all. Fantastic. The commercially made tops fell off after two seconds. But these two aren't budging. How long can they last? Kato-san, you're with the Master Craftsman. What do you think? So far, so good, I guess. Holding steady. The biggest fear is that it'll fall off. Looks okay, though. Tajima-san. Yes? You've been watching silently. How does the start look to you? Well, it's centered, so it looks like we're in good shape for now. In good shape. Professor Ishida, taking a look at both tops, there doesn't seem to be any difference in how they're spinning. That's right. The first thing is how to store up energy when you twirl it initially. You want to have a lot saved up. Oh. 
And then during the spin, it's reducing energy loss as much as possible. Coming up on a minute and a half. While we're watching the contest, let's review the development process. Enjoy the drama. The top on the right was made by a group from Mitsubishi Precision. They helped put together the control system for the ALOS-2 satellite. That's right, they're rocket scientists. Their team is composed of elite specialists in aerospace and mechanical engineering. The team leader is 32-year-old engineer Takao Tachima. Here's the top Tajima dreamed up. The outer shell is composed of tungsten, which is three times denser than steel. But the inner casing uses lightweight aluminum. And it's hollow. The total weight is limited. The plan is to concentrate that weight toward the outside. Why go to such trouble to weight the outside? There's more mass toward the outside. The thinking is a donut configuration will better maintain rotational energy, so it'll spin longer. A heavier outer part means a longer spin. That's the basic principle. With this top, can you win? I do think we'll win. Ready, set, go! It's heavy. But when they set it spinning... That's a lot of movement. The top fell over sooner than Tajima and his team had calculated. It stopped fast. It did. Rotation rate was still at four or five hundred. It should have lasted longer. The rotation rate should have been sufficient. What happened? Tajima and his team agonized over the design. They analyzed the results of their trial and error and came up with an answer. If the center of mass, the center of gravity, is too high, it will tip over easily, like a tall building swaying in an earthquake. So the unstable movement of their top was due to its center of gravity being too high. The top had already been assembled, but Tajima decided to revise it. To lower the center of gravity, he would shift the heavy tungsten sheath downward. But how could he do that? Liquid nitrogen, cooled to minus 200 degrees Celsius, he applied the nitrogen and... Excellent, the outer shell of tungsten slipped downward. During cooling, the inner aluminum casing shrank slightly more than the tungsten. That's why the tungsten could slip down. They took advantage of the properties of metals. Supreme skill. And here is Team Space Spin's finished top, dubbed the Tajima Special. Somehow, they've both passed 5 minutes 20 seconds. No swaying, almost as if they were stationary. Stable, aren't they? They sure are. Saito-san, what do you think? Look at this. I feel like, how should I put it? We're creating something brand new. Really. I bet. Was it exciting for you? Yes, it was. It was a real thrill. Isaya-san, how do things look to you so far? Well, it's pretty stable. I mean, this could go on for a while longer. Incredible. The two tops are evenly matched. Let's look now at the master craftsman who made the one on the left. This is Yak, a 10-person machine shop on Tokyo's west side. 
They are known in the industry for superlative machining. And they work without any computer-controlled equipment. The factory manager, Takao Isea, has 63 years of experience as a craftsman. This will be the summation of my 60-plus years in the business, my graduation thesis. They were striving for a perfectly circular top with no distortion, not even a discrepancy of one one-thousandth of a millimeter. But when they gave it a spin... This is no good. It won't do at all. The reason was an unexpected one. Look, tiny puck marks. As you can see, the spinning action of the top left scratch marks. Friction resulted, and that reduced the rotation rate. At the top's sharp tip, they had used a super hard cemented carbide. That would also damage the iron platform in the double turret arena. What should they do? Factory manager Isaya started looking for a new material for the tip. I really don't want to lose. <laughs> Isaya's choice? Iron. The same material as the double turret platform, so no scratching, he hoped. Did he judge right? It stabilized. But in the course of repeated testing, Isaya noticed something. Quite a bit of abrasion. The rotation's dropping a lot. The tip's worn flat. Yeah, it's flattened. The tip had disintegrated. That would make the desired no-sway spin impossible. For another week, they kept looking for a better material. They tried a dozen kinds, but nothing worked well. They were just about at their wit's end. But then... Let's try high-speed steel. What is this high-speed steel? It's a particularly durable steel used for drill bits and blade edges. Harder than iron, but much softer than cemented carbide. Will it give their top a long spinning life in the double turret arena? His many years of experience told Isaya to bet on high speed steel. Please. How did the problematic tip do? It hasn't been abraded much. It still got its point. The ideal tip, sought and found by the master craftsman. Next came a process of repeated improvements. This is their finished top. Their shop locale is known for its plum trees, so they're calling it the Plum Top. Amazingly, they've just passed the 11-minute mark. Those platforms, a mere two centimeters in diameter, truly miraculous. 
however. Team Space Spin's top has moved off-center on that tiny platform. A bit off-center. It's swaying a bit. Swaying? Yes. Yeah, it started to sway a bit. Spinning tops are supposed to be, uh, fun. <laughs> Such tension over tops. It isn't normal. Twelve minutes. They've made it to twelve minutes. In the double turret arena, the surface of each turret's platform is just two centimeters in diameter. And now, the Tajima Special has started to sway, compared to how it looked at the beginning. It looks the same. So, Tajima-san, is it behaving the way you expected? At the moment, it's okay. Okay. Apart from a little swing, the Tajima Special hasn't changed much. That's true. I think it'll last a while. So the Tajima Special has started to sway, but Tajima himself doesn't look troubled at all. Why? Team Space Spin has a secret strategy, a ballpoint tip. If the tip is sharply pointed, when the top slows and tilts, it touches the platform and soon falls over. But if it has a ballpoint tip, then even when it starts tilting, it has longer staying power. It should continue to spin. They did many experiments. They chose a hard stainless steel ball for the tip. 900 revolutions, 5 minutes, 30 seconds. But now, a new problem cropped up. Check out the ballpoint tip. The heat of the friction damaged the tip. The heat builds up. It leaves some residue. That's a heavy mass above it. It's a huge load for the ball to bear. So they tested materials that they hoped could withstand friction better. A special diamond coating. They even tried a ruby. Looks cool, doesn't it? Like it's not a top. What they finally chose was a hard, heat-resistant ceramic ball. A secret strategy for amazing endurance. Can it lead to a fantastic new record? Three, two, one. We've hit 15 minutes. Incredible. They've spun for as long as an installment of one of those morning teledramas. That's true. It's astonishing. <laughs> Professor, Team Space Spin's Tajima Special, the swaying appears to be increasing. It looks that way. Just a little, right? It's worrisome. How will the Tajima Special's round tip do from here on out? Will the top move well? The hope was that even if the top starts tilting, it'll still be okay. But who knows now? That swaying has gotten worse. Saito-san is calming it with body language. She's sending it good vibrations. Uh-oh, the swaying is getting worse and worse. The plum top is fantastic. Fantastic. No swaying at all. 
Kato-san, how is the plum top doing? According to plan. But I don't know the rate of revolution, so it's hard to predict. How's the Tajima special doing? Whoa, the Tajima special is swaying even more. Tajima-san, what's happening? <laughs> this is pretty serious. Team Space Spin. That's a lot of swaying, but they're still hoping it'll last. We're passing the 17 minute mark. 17! Both have passed 17 minutes. They have. The Tajima special is swaying even more. Ah, uh, the axis is creeping over toward the edge. Looks like it's right up at the edge of its platform. Tajima-san is shifting his viewpoint. The swaying's even worse. A wider sway. The Tajima special is swaying worse at 1745. Now the sway is much greater. 10 seconds till 18. But the top is struggling. Oh, it's down at 1755. The Tajima special falls at the 17 minute level. But the master craftsman's top, we don't see any swaying in the body at all. Right. Team Space Spin's top fell at 17 minutes, 55 seconds. Junior Sun, it lasted quite a while after it started swaying. Yeah, but the plum top made by the master craftsman is just too darn good. For sure, it has unbelievable stability. And to think it's handmade, that's just amazing. Machining it to the micron level by sight and sound. Yeah. But it's swaying a bit. 10 seconds till we hit 19, but it's swaying a lot. Will the plum top manage to? It fell at 18 minutes, 56 seconds. The winners, the master craftsmen. Congratulations. A magnificent battle. Excellent. You all pulled together and you won. We did it. Thank you very much. How's your mood right now? We could all drink some sake. Thank you. I was thinking even 15 minutes would be great. Now, their opponents, Team Space Spin. Tajima-san, unfortunately, you were defeated. But we posted our best record yet. Really? Out of all your spins so far, we put everything into this. So we're satisfied with this result. We were just crushed by the skill and experience of the master craftsmen. Professor, what did you think when you saw that winning time of 18 minutes, 56 seconds? Wonderful, wasn't it? It went far longer than I'd expected. But these were two groups of such different character in a sense, though they had the same goal. Yet, ultimately, and this is the astonishing thing, they were just a minute or so apart. So, as I see it, there's really no difference. The two teams produced a miraculous new record. And even after the competition, they were obsessed with each other's tops. It's still slowed down. That pointed tip is no good. That's what we thought. When you have supreme skill, you keep aiming higher. The ceaseless struggle to develop new technologies continues. NHK World.